Thank you. Uh, so, good afternoon. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land we meet today. My name is Hernando de Oliveira, uh, and I really appreciate the opportunity to present my research trajectory in the 2020 format. I'll start talking a bit about myself first. I have an engineering background, so I've always been very keen in uh, rationalizing problems and modeling solutions. Okay. Through my bachelor's, I got really interested in linear programming, uh, res operations research and optimization in general. But then during my master's, I got the chance to actually delve deeper into economics and econometric analysis. And I got really fascinated by the wide range of applications of the method. Uh, during my PhD, I shifted to work with more qualitative textual data as well. However, the databases that I was using were very large. So I actually had to resort to computer-assisted uh, methods to not uh, artificially limit the size of the databases to make them amenable to uh, manual analysis. First, I looked into a series of uh, algorithms of uh, machine learning, known as topic models. However, uh, I got really frustrated with the subpar quality of the results, to be frank. And so I start searching for some alternatives, and I stumble across Runyer's method, which is a French algorithm, which gave some quite impressive results that I hope can spark your interest. So I'm going to talk a bit about it. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna focus on econometrics here because it's quite uh, established at this point. So I think I can actually offer a bit more talking about thematic analysis. In particular, the computer-assisted approaches can have quite a bit of benefits over manual approaches, such as. Um, quick analysis of the data, and they actually allow for unbiased um, emergence of themes and other uh, alternatives as well. So I'm going to give some examples. First of all, I'm going to focus on the systematic literature review that I did for my thesis. Uh, the idea was to uh, identify key themes and methodologies in the literature on air transport uh, networks. Okay, So we actually identify six broad uh, uh, topics, uh, three related with methodologies and three related with main applications in that literature you can see on the left. And since the method we used is hierarchical in nature, we were able to actually subdivide those six classes into the 41 that you can see on the right. Okay, uh, some of the main results of this research were the prevalence of regression analysis to study airline networks, the uh, underrepresentation of finance related studies in that field. Um, the lack of quantitative approaches to business models and a really growing interest of uh, works on the impacts of COVID-19 related with networks. Some other applications that I did with other purposes as well were, for example, in a newspaper database related with COVID-19 impacts on cruise tourism in Australia, where we identified uh, outliers and also to identify relevant studies on uh, literature on maritime training simulators, where I actually reduced the database. For that. Uh, I also cite my work with Liz Simons on her research on airline cabin crew, where she used the method in a similar fashion to me, and on a project led by Rowan Neary on uh, sexual harassment against airline cabin crew, hotel room uh, attendants, and wellness spa workers. Okay. I hope this was enough to pique your interest. Now I'm going to shift the focus to my work with econometrics. This paper, we actually delved into the connection between airline uh, network design and airline business models and how mergers can influence network design behaviors. For that paper, we used discrete choice models and data from Brazil. We identified that as times go by, airlines try to reposition themselves uh, at the intersection of at least two business models concerning airline configuration, uh, network configuration, sorry, and that mergers had very different effects on those repositionings depending on the business model of the company being acquired. So they served as stepping stones for market, market repositionings by the acquiring carrier. In this other paper, we looked at how an airline's uh, network design is influenced by its financial uh, distress and by being under bankruptcy protection. We used linear models and discrete choice models to analyze the route entry decisions of the airline, and we again used data from Brazil for this one. We noticed that an airline uh, adjusted its networks uh, by reducing uh, its operations as its financial situation got worse, and by spending it back again uh, under bankruptcy protection, highlighting the role of bankruptcy protection and actually maintaining competition for the bankrupt carriers. Um, market shares at key airports. 
In the next paper, I looked into the factors influencing uh, basically network scope, which is an effective number of destinations out of an airport, and schedule picking, which would be the concentration of flights throughout the clock. Uh, for US carriers, we used uh, linear regressions and a type of neural network. Here, uh, the results uh, suggest the central role of both an airport's uh, network influence and the number of connecting passengers for both measures. And we also found that after mergers, all airlines seem to have expanded their network scope out of individual airports, while hub and spoke airlines concentrated their schedules and Southwest uh, deconcentrated their schedules. My final example on econometric paper is one which was to identify the factors influencing uh, how the Brazilian air transportation network concentrated away from the geographic patterns of um, economic and demographic activity. We use uh, linear regressions here. Uh, the results for this one suggest that those concentrations were quite uh, closely linked uh, with respect with most of the factors analyzed. However, the nature of those uh, relations changed after the deregulation of the market, um, becoming less attached after that event, that major event in uh, the air transportation system. Other approaches that I've done for other uh, research were mostly descriptive, uh, except for one conceptual paper led by uh, Yashin Zhang on dark tourism, which was just recently published on Annals of uh, Tourism Research. Uh, with that, I'd like to thank you for listening to my presentation. Uh, if you have any doubts or you would like to connect, please feel free to do so via email or LinkedIn. My contact details are on screen. Uh, thank you.